What is up guys? It's your boy Victor Wu. Welcome back. So today's topic is about fighting your true self. So this is one of the many questions which people around the world ask. These questions include, why am I born in this world? What am I supposed to do? People search for these questions and answers all around the world, looking at every corner of the earth, but in, in the end, being disappointed on what they find. They think and believe that they searched everywhere, but they haven't. One place which they haven't searched for, it's inside themselves. So today I'm going to share to you a few ideas which might help enlighten or deepen your understanding of reality. But first, I want to ask you this question. What is sitting here listening to me speak right now? I want you to listen to what I'm going to present. And hopefully you have an answer to me by the end of this video. So we have a belief in our mind and ego that they're different and they're continuously fighting each other what is right or wrong this is also compounded with all the information flooded into them from all the media outlets people gossiping and this is turning into a mental problem called overthinking so I have a video about how to destroy overthinking up here where you can watch but but through this they believe the ego is bad so they attempt to destroy the ego by using their mind but from many attempts they realize that this doesn't work just like a sword cannot cut itself like an eye cannot see itself it is the same for your mind and ego if you if you attempt to use your mind to destroy your mind, it doesn't know what it is. Once you recognize the mind and ego, the same thing, they're parts which make up your thought, and you're not your thoughts. So, if these thoughts are the problems, how do I re remove the thoughts or minds from my head, Victor? Well, Buddha, Buddhism, so very interesting topic about blocking. So it's a feeling of resistance which comes out, which halts the process. Just like one tends to block a blocking, you are attempting to destroy your mind, to get rid of those thoughts by using your mind. It's very paradoxical, but being Buddha is attempting to find its true self. That means being Buddha is essentially being free of all worldly attachments. It does not mean that they're emotionless, painless, or have no feeling. It just is. Don't think of it ever as a spirituality context, like when I'm cutting potatoes, I'm thinking about God. It isn't anything like that. It is just cutting the potatoes. That's it. Just like when it's time to get dressed, you get dressed. When it's time to walk, you go walk. And when, you time to, when it's time to sit down, you sit. Don't have a single thought attempting to find the Buddha or the true self. Just as a fish swims in the water, but is unmindful of the water, and like the birds fly, being unmindful of the wind. So if you're still confused, let me tell you about the story about the mind. So, there was one day, there is this man searching for the Buddha. And 
after many long trips, he finds him. This man who was enlightened. But when he first got there, that man ignored him. Until he found him annoying. In a way, he asks, what do you want from me? This man said, my mind is anxious. Please pacify it. The Buddha said, said to him, well, okay, that's easy. Bring, you, bring me your mind. I'll pacify it. So this man who asked the question was surprised. And he frantically searched for it, trying to find his mind. But finally he admitted, although I've sought for it, I cannot find it. And the Buddha said, aha, I've pacified your mind. So let me ask you again, what is sitting here listening to me speaking right now? Go kill it.